Hi everyone, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Well, spring is supposed to be here, but unfortunately the weather in our area have not been cooperating. I absolutely love spring, I love being outside, I love taking my dog for a walk. But unfortunately, since the weather isn't so great, we kind of have to wait. In the meantime, I thought it might be fun to try my very first ever dog collar on the channel. We have done a couple dog collars on this channel before, but if you do need a little bit of a refresher, we're going to put a link to our previous video in the description below. In our video today, we are going to be using standard 550 paracord, but we have gone with 25 feet just in case you have a bigger dog and need more paracord. Our colors today, we'll be using honeycomb, tan, chocolate brown, and goldenrod. If you did check out our previous video, you may have noticed that we made this device ourselves, but we do sell it in our store. It's known as an adjustable collar strap, and we're going to put a link to where you can purchase this in the description below. And then another first for me personally, we'll be using our 24 inch jig. So to start off our project, we do have our standard four strand core. And if you do need a reminder on how to set that up, we're going to put a link in the description below. We do have our three other paracord that were lanced through the cow hitch, the one cow hitch that we have on one half of our buckle. Once you find the middle of all three of those strands, it is time to begin the weave. We're going to start with our core color, which is this chocolate brown. We're going to start on the left side here with our left working strand. We're going to go under the first two. We're going to go up through the middle and we're going to go over the right two. Our second step, we want to take our right working strand. We want to go under the strand that we just brought across. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go under, up through the middle, out over top of the left two and we want to go under our first working strand. All right, the next step is to decide which one of these three cords you would like to be on the outside going down, and we have decided that we would like our tan cord to do that. So we're going to start with our left working strand. We're going to go through the middle, and we're going to bring it up through the left loop that we had made with our chocolate brown, and we're going to pull it. We're going to do the exact same thing with the right working strand. We're going to go through the middle and bring it up through the right loop that we had made. And we do want our working strands ending on the right side of our weave. Now these two are going to be our middle and we're going to be alternating them as we go down the weave. And I think it would be fun if we started out the first pass with our golden rod. We're going to take our left working strand and we're actually going to do the exact same thing that we did with our tan, except we want the golden rod to go through the loop that we have made with our tan. So we're going to put it through the middle and we're going to bring it up through the loop of the chocolate brown and the tan. For our right side, we're going to do the exact same thing with the right working strand of our golden rod. We're going to go through the middle. And this time we're going to bring it through the loop of the chocolate brown and the tan. And for our final cord, the honeycomb, this one is really easy. We're just going to put it right down through the middle of everything that we just made. And we are going to do the same exact thing for our right side of our cord. And finally, our last step here is to just cinch everything tightly. And the way that we can do that is we can take our chocolate brown and we can just pull on them. And as we do that, we pull on our other strands. And after tightening everything down, you'll see that we are set up right back in our very first position. So we're going to start the weave all over again. We're going to take our left working strand of the chocolate brown. We're going to go under the first two, through the middle, 
and over top of the right two. With our right working strand, we do want to make sure that we go over top of our left working strand, under the first two, through the middle, over the left two, and under the loop we made on the left side. And you can always tell that you did this step correctly if you have both of the chocolate browns going over top of the inner strands. For our next step, we are going to take our left working strand in the tan, which we want to do first. We're going to go down through the middle, bring it to the left loop that we made with our chocolate brown, and loop it on itself. We're going to do the exact same thing with our right working strand in our tan. We're going to go down through the middle, and we're going to bring it up and through our right loop. Now the second step is where we differ from the first step. So for our second step, we want to take the cord that is coming out of the middle. In this case, it's our honeycomb. We want to cross them, making sure that the right strand is going over top of the left strand. Now, after making the cross at the top, after crossing our two paracord, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did for the second step in our first weave. We're going to take now the honeycomb, we're going to go through the middle, we're going to bring it to the left side and put it through both the tan and the chocolate brown loop. With our right working strand, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to come down through the middle, bring it over to the right, and through the tan and the chocolate brown. Now a little tip and trick here is as you are pulling your second strand for the weave, you want to make sure that the first strand is under the second strand, just right here. So we want our second strand to be flush against the chocolate brown, while our first strand is flush against the sides. For our third step, we're going to take the left working strand of our goldenrod, and we're just going to put it right through the middle. And then for our right working strand, again, we're just going to go right through the middle. And with our right working strand, we're going to go, just like we did with the left, right down the middle. Once we have those steps done, we can cinch everything together. We're going to pull on that chocolate brown. We're going to pull on our strands. And you can also take your thumb, put it underneath the knot, and you can slide up the knot a little bit that way as well, just to make it tighter around the core strands. And here we are back in position one. The only difference is instead of the honeycomb being in the middle now, we have our goldenrod. And so this is how we're going to get the alternating colors going down the center. And once you have that tightened down, you are going to see that we are right back to square one again, only this time the honeycomb is in the middle. And in that second step, you're going to do the exact same thing, right over the left, and just continue down with the weave. That's how you get the alternating pattern going through the middle. We're going to continue the weave, and we'll come back to the video whenever we get to the end and show you how we'll finish up this dog collar. Okay, so we've gotten to the end of our weave and it is time to finish this whole thing off. And the way that we're going to do that is we are going to start exactly the same way that we did with our brown, our chocolate brown, excuse me. We're going to take our left working strand, we're going to go under through the middle and over top of the right strands. We're going to take our right working strand, we're also going to come under. through, bring it over, and back under the loop that we made with our left working strand. Exactly the same way that we have been doing the weave the entire time. 
With our left working strand of the tan, the first paracord that we like to start out with going down on our weave here, we're going to do the exact same thing that we have been doing for the weave, except we're not going to bring it back through the loop. So we here at Paracord Planet always like our paracord to end in the back of the weave, and so that's how we're going to be doing this one as well. So we're gonna take our tan, we're going to put it through the middle, like we have normally been doing with the weave, except this time we're not going to loop it back around. We're just going to have it end in the back. We're gonna do the same thing for our right paracord. In fact, we're gonna do the same thing for all of the paracord. Rather than looping them back around to bring it to the outside, as you can see here and here, we're simply just going to put it through the first part and not do the loop. That way, all the strands will end in the back. So there we do have our completed Honey Sweet or Honeycomb Modified weave, and I love this weave. This is one of those that you can just turn on something on the TV, zone out for about two or three hours, and make a cool collar for your dog. I also love this adjustable piece uh, that we actually sell on our website, so you can pick this up, but it is adjustable, so no matter what size dog you have, this weave is going to fit perfectly. And I did just want to let you know that we uh, started with 25 feet of paracord in each color and we ended up with a ton of leftover. So you could probably get away with just 10 feet of each color in paracord. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If it did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. And a big thanks to everybody who has already liked and subscribed. If there's something you want to see in a future video, just let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for checking out the video. We'll see you next time. And here are some pictures and videos of my dog wearing the collar.